Currently, she can be seen in the First Wives Club. Please welcome, folks, Elizabeth Berkeley. <laughs> tall. I mean, I knew you were tall, but you're tall. Yeah, I know. I was excited to finally meet you because I wanted to see our, our height. You know? Yes, yes. Those, are, those things are crucial. Yes, we'd make a fine couple. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do that purr thingy. Ooh. 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 Is this working for you? It's in 3D now. Yes. <laughs> oh, is that scary? We, we, our instincts are, are working. I said, do that purr thing, and you did it like as I said. You it. and I are, yeah, like, you know. we're the right height. We're yes. sort of, we got a symbiotic thing going. You know? All right, I better cool off just okay. for a second. How are you? Thanks for coming. I'm great. I'm great. I'm really, really uh, excited. Fine. <laughs> really excited to be here. It's yeah. been a fun time. Wild, wild year. I know um, it's been. Well, let's let's go back a bit because I don't know if you know. I was a was a big Saved by the Bell fan, and I think <laughs> I think a lot of people were. Saved by the Bell was. Now, now let's clarify something. Yes. A lot of uh, talk show hosts go, I was a big fan of your work before, but I really was a guy who, when I was living out in Los Angeles, would watch Saved by the Bell. You know, I was like, you know, 29 years old, 30 years old at the time. Right. And I'd sit there and watch it, get up, like set my alarm clock and watch Saved by the Bell on That's a Saturday scary. morning, which is That's frightening, scary. I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually the profile of a serial killer, probably. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. But anyway, uh, I was a big fan of the show and I actually mentioned it somewhere in an interview, yes. when I first got the job, they said something like, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to meet Jesse from Saved by the Bell, like oh, to some reporter, being a wise guy. Right. And somebody, I don't know if it was you or not, sent me a Jesse doll. I did. Yeah. I did. I never heard from you, but I Because I didn't you know it was really you. What? I didn't want to feel like a right. jerk and then contact you and say, uh, see, this is like no, one of those. That would have been sweet. But I'm I glad know. we finally got to, you know. Because it really was you. Yeah, I just thought, you know what, I'll send him a doll. They, we have these dolls from, from the the show, each yeah. one of us. So I figured, you know, I'll send it to Conan. We have Conan and Andy dolls, but no one's buying them. We don't know what the uh, hell's going on. No. Well, you we, pull the string and it goes, my next guest. <laughs> we don't know what happened. The hands on all mine melted somehow <laughs> in the warehouse. Well, they were made of a white chocolate. Yeah, but anyway, that's yeah. another story. Well, no, I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Well, I, now I feel bad that I didn't, well, I was, I, are you guys no, ever gonna, bad. well, are you ever gonna do a reunion show? No. Really? No, that's not happening. I left the show four years ago because I really wanted to do films. Yeah. And, you no, know, you're doing good. You don't have to go back and do a show. Right. Some of the rest of them would be real happy if there was a reunion show. <laughs> I mean, Screech is hurting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, do you ever talk to Screech still? I don't, but I wish him well. Does Screech I, I call a lot, but you don't take the calls? No, I, like, no, I haven't heard from Elizabeth, him. Elizabeth, it's Screech on the line. No, I'm not here. <laughs> no. I'm not here. We all just kind of, you know, have gone on to do other things. If, if we all, you know, if we saw each other, we'd give each other a big hug. I mean, we spent a really important... That's not true. Screech is outside your door every night, standing... <laughs> do you ever look out your window late at night and you think you see Screech and then the figure steps out of the lamplight? No. Does that ever happen? It hasn't happened yet. Okay. Okay. But, um, so, no, so then I... I after the first thing I got after that was Showgirls. Let's and talk now, about Showgirls for a minute, because this is a. Okay. Uh, you must have first of all gotten some new fans. You had your Saved by the Bell fans. Yes, first I would think a movie like Showgirl <laughs> would give you a different audience base than the Saved by. And then there'd be some crossover fans like me, you know, Saved right. by the Bell and also Showgirl fans mm. who actually straddle the line. But you'd probably get some new fans. Well, yeah, first, first it was children, you know, kids that come up to you and they're all innocent, and now it's their fathers. <laughs> and now with first wife. I like her too, Billy. <laughs> but now with First Wives Club, it's the mothers and the fathers and the kids. Right. You now, know, so, well, before we move on to First so Wives the whole, Club, the whole spectrum. Do, does uh, do, do you ever? I mean, like, have you been in a situation yet where you're in a public place, you're like on a plane or something, and they and and Showgirls comes on? And... I'm like, oh, wait, you're not even going to believe this. What? I am on a flight back from Germany. You okay? and I are so symbiotic in every way. This is incredible. No, it really is. It's frightening because I was on this flight. I feel like Andy is Chuck Woolery and we're on a dating show. But anyway, <laughs> how are we doing, Chuck? Doing good. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm so sorry. So I'm on a flight back. It's yeah. in first class. Okay, and each person has an individual little video thing. In first class, or so I'm told, yeah. you can now get 
your own individualized movie Video. and you put it in, yeah, right. okay. And there was a waiting list for showgirls, because that's the only way they could show it on a plane, God knows. Right. So anyway, this guy, he puts it in and I just thought, I'm going to die. I'm he's sitting, sitting here. You're sitting next to a guy I'm who's sitting watching. I'm sitting next to this man who's very, very proper. And you're, me. I mean, you know, was, uh, you know, no, nothing, no comment about the movie, but you're nude for like 95% of the movie. Right. Right. Yeah, basically. There so are movies I where quickly... you're like painting your house nude, you know? It's just like <laughs> it wasn't even required for the scene. No, so I, I quickly, you know, pressed that button, got a big blanket, put it over and kind of tried to go to sleep, but I, I peered through the little crack on the side, right. and I noticed he was fast-forwarding to the nude scenes, and I'm like, this is it. I got it. I got to get out of here. So... And that man's name was Max Weinberg. <laughs> way, Max did that drum roll so quickly because he knew it was him. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. All right. Well, we, we, uh, now, now tell us about uh, First Wives so Club. First Wives Club has been great because after a really controversial year, which was a bit hard at times, being oh, yeah. a bit of a target, mm -hmm. what, the greatest thing happened, Scott Rudin and Adam Schroeder, the producers right. on First Wives Club, um, really believed in me and said, give this girl another shot. You, that's not all she is. Yeah. And, and so, you know, it's and the great. Movie's working, doing, the, movie's, the, the movie's doing quite well. Is that yeah, right? I'm you, working with Goldie Hawn, Ben right. Mittler, and Diane Keaton. The movie's doing and, so well, I think everyone knows who's in this movie. Right. And this was a movie that was shot Am I, am I, you, you shot this, like, in New York City during a really bad winter, is that Definitely. right? Definitely. Last, last winter, yeah. I, I mean, it was, first of all, it was amazing. It was so much fun. And, yeah. and just the spirit of the film was, was carried over on the set as well, you know. And, and you didn't so, lose your Game Boy at any point, did you? No, I didn't. Because I understand on a film, that's a really controversial thing. <laughs> no, I didn't. But okay. I was forced, you know, to, uh, on Spectrevision, you know how they have those movies? Yeah, those, know those movies in hotel rooms? I know those movies, I thought, yeah. you know what, this is my worst nightmare. I'm trapped in New York, uh -huh. and Showgirls is playing 24 hours a day. It's like, I have to get out of here, and you couldn't get a cab at that it time. It was the movie that was playing it, in was, your hotel it was, room. It was haunting me, but anyway, it's okay. It was, it was Not fun. the worst thing in the world, all right? Oh, it's been great. And uh, you're shooting, a, we gotta go, but you're shooting a movie now called The Real Blonde. Yes, Tom right? DeChillo, who did Living in Oblivion. It's, it's a fun, Things are working really out well. great cast, so right. moving on, you know. And, uh, and First Wife Club, uh, First Wives Club is out now, and it was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you, And thanks too. for sending me the doll. That was sure. really cool of you. All right, Elizabeth Berkeley, everybody. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.